So I heard you guys like clappers. Like, really like clappers. Because this video I did of me trying to plug one of these things into another one went insane. It's got like over 200,000 views now. I think we're close to 300,000 views. So thank you to everybody who viewed that video and all of the clapper enthusiasts that are now watching the channel. I've got something for you all today because we are not even close to being done with taking a look at this thing. Because you know what I did? I went out on Amazon and bought as many of these things as I could find. Let's just get started with it. So in the last video, if you missed that one, or if you missed the original retrospective that kind of set this entire mini series off, you can check that out up in the cards. But I featured the original clapper and I featured the Bob Ross talking clapper, which has Bob Ross on it in one of his paintings. It talks to you, it's a night light, it's pretty cool. But Joseph Enterprises, the company behind this whole thing, or the company that owns the rights to it here in the US at least, they do this whole partnership thing pretty often, especially with the Chia Pet, which they also own the rights to. But with the Clapper, they've partnered with some brands, and I went out on Amazon, like I said, and tried to find as many of these things as I could. And I walked away, or left the website, placed the order with four Clappers right here. Three of which are Star Wars, as you can see. So we've got the child it's not baby yoda people it's the child we've got the child talking clapper we've got c-3po and we've got darth vader and then we have a christmas story it's christmas in march now guys because we're going to start out with this one and we'll come back to these later on this is not all i have we've got some other kind of special things that i purchased as well that i think you i just dropped them on the floor that i think you guys will <laughs> will enjoy so a christmas story obviously being the movie that i actually have never seen myself personally but i know the whole fragile you want to call it a meme it's probably i don't know if it's ever gained meme status but anyway yeah so a christmas story they made a special edition christmas story one and just to compare the box here i guess we're going to be doing this a lot so here's the original box right and this is made of the same material which a lot of you guys said was paperboard. Actually, a lot of you guys said it was paperboard. Some of you guys said it was still cardboard. I mentioned this for like a little bit in the video and some people were like, why are you talking about the packaging for so long? I'm not even, I talked about it for like 30 seconds at most. Okay, maybe a little longer than 30 seconds, but you get the point. This one I believe is a talking, I think all of these are talking night lights and then it just has one plug instead of two, like this one does here. Let's just open this thing up and see what we got. Here it is right here. And it's actually designed just like the regular one. It kind of has that same... So yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. They have a very similar design. Obviously this one is taller. The speaker is on the top here because this one has a speaker. The microphone is right here though. So there's the microphone on this one. Oh, and by the way, since I had a bunch of people saying in the video where I tried to plug this one, or not this one specifically, but when I tried to plug a clapper in, into another one, I had a bunch of people saying, why can't you just flip it around to prevent the lights on the bottom and the microphone from being covered? Well, you can't. And there were some people that got like way too pissed off about this. Like, I really think there there's bigger things in the world to get mad at than a guy on YouTube plugging a clapper into a clapper. But for those of you who got like legitimately mad, you can't, you can't do it. You know why? Because the plug is polarized. I guess a lot of people don't know what this means. So you see this prong here? You see the one on the left? It's larger than the one on the right. And look at the outlet here. You see how this is larger than this one? It can only go in one way. One way. So to all the people who actually got angry or pissed off because I didn't do this, you can't do it! I swear, man, it's like some of these people just like, if you're gonna leave like a snarky comment, at least make sure you know what you're talking about. So yeah, there's your explanation as to why, uh, why you can't do that. But anyways, so what's nice about this one here is you can plug the clapper into the bottom here and it kind of does this like L shape. That's actually kind of funny. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one specifically and uh, see what it says, which actually it's on the, the box right here. It'll tell you what it says. Fragile must be Italian, a quote from the movie, and it's a major award. All right, so here's the Christmas story clapper. We're going to go ahead and plug it into the wall. And let's clap three times. So that's the quote, the fragile quote. So if we clap three times again. Yeah, it didn't register that time. Yeah, with this one and with, I think, all of these uh, special edition ones, there are no indicator lights on the front like you have with the standard one. That is one downside. 
so it registered at that time but there you go next up the child so yes this is one of the newer ones because it's based on a character from the mandalorian it tells you how to use it which is the same instructions for all of these you plug a device into it official dialogue so these are the two quotes that it says and it is a nightlight like i said these are all night lights so we'll uh cut this one open here and let's see what we got now this one has a pretty unique design because just the way that it's manufactured here so there you go you got the plug on the back so this one sits out a lot farther than these here so just for comparison that's about uh your your depth and you know that's what your depth is going to be on this one here just like on this one you've got the outlet on the bottom actually all of these i believe are going to have the outlet on the bottom you've got your speaker on the bottom you've got your switch to toggle the quotes you know if it actually want you know if you wanted to speak to you so you can turn that off just like the bob ross one and i believe yep you got the same thing here they're probably all going to have that so there you go last thing to do is check out this one and plug it into the wall see how it works all right here's the next one let's plug them into the wall and clap three times okay i think i might have the switch off on the bottom come on baby do the magic hand thing yeah so i had it off so now you can hear the the quote so we'll just do it again so you can hear the, the there you go. So yeah, pretty awesome. There you have it. So we'll set that one right. We'll set that one right here. And now let's take a look at, uh, gosh, which one do I want to take a look at next? Let's do the Darth Vader one. Now these, by the way, you may notice the packaging design is a little bit different. It's actually a lot different from like these here. Uh, that's because this is the vintage style packaging because this here is what the original oh this is uh <laughs> this is from another video that i'm working on we'll set that aside but yeah this is based around the style of the original clapper box the one from the 1980s the very first model here is the darth vader one you got the dark mode manual here so yeah here it is it's darth vader's head obviously you got your outlet on the bottom once again outlet on the back or you're plugged to plug it in so let's go ahead and plug this one in and see what it's all about all right so we've got vader plugged in we're gonna clap three times And this one isn't working. The force is strong in this one. Ah, it's two claps instead of three for this one. Interesting. But you saw you heard the quote there. We'll do it again. You underestimate the power of the dark side. Actually, this one is not a nightlight. I didn't notice this before, but yeah, there's no there's no light on it. It's just a clapper with one outlet. But when you clap twice, you get those quotes as whatever turns on, whatever you have plugged into the bottom. So there's the Darth Vader one. Next up, we've got the C-3PO one. So let's go ahead and open this one. This is again in that same vintage design. Hello, sir. All systems have been alerted to your presence. That's actually a very fitting one. Something's not right because I can't see. Oh, dear. That's a good one. Man, yeah, they, they really uh, find pretty good quotes for this. I do like the vintage TV back here. I didn't notice that. But yeah, the uh, does the Darth Vader one have that? Yeah, it does. So, I mean, they obviously use, like, just a template. I mean, these look exactly the same as opposed for these images here and the text. So, let's open this one up. And, ooh, you got that dark mode manual again. We welcome your feedback. There you go if you want to give them some feedback. And here is the C-3PO one. This one's pretty cool looking. And it seems like this would cover the entire... I, I feel like this would cover the entire wall plate. You've got... You're probably one of these as a speaker and... Maybe his mouth is the microphone. Actually, that might be... Yeah, it looks like his mouth. Or no, his mouth might be the speaker. And one of his eyes could be the microphone or vice versa. So there's the C-3PO one. Let's plug it in and see what it's all about. So the C-3PO one is exactly the same as the Darth Vader one in that there's it's not a nightlight. It's just a regular clamper with a single outlet that uh, when you clap twice to activate it, it also plays those... Uh, sounds or those quotes so yeah as i thought it does take up most of the outlet not all of it but it comes pretty close so we'll clap two times hello sir all systems have been alerted to your presence and yeah i think that's a really fitting one like i said we'll do it one more time something's not right because now i can't see oh dear yeah so this would be perfect for if you wanted to plug a lamp into this i think those quotes would be uh 
very, very appropriate for that. So there you go. There's the C-3PO one. So those are all of the special edition clappers that I have acquired. Oh, let me get the Bob Ross one just to complete this up here. There he is. So we'll set Bob Ross. That looks really nice. Let's just center this, shall we? Let me know if you guys want me to like leave these in the backdrop of every video I do. Gosh, that would be pretty funny. But yeah, so this is the clapper collection, but... But I've got a couple more things to show you, and one of them relates to another topic that we've talked about pretty frequently, at least recently on this channel, and that is bootlegs, because I found a bootleg clapper. Can you tell it's a bootleg? Yeah, the packaging is like pretty terrible. Yeah, apparently these are a thing. There's all sorts of companies making bootleg clappers. I mean, maybe it's just one company, because when I looked on Amazon, I found a ton of listings that have the same images. So this is probably a case of multiple sellers getting their stuff from the same source and just using the same images, or it's one person, I don't know. And I would be very careful if you're interested in buying one of these, one of the official ones, because when I searched up The Clapper on Amazon, the very first result was a bootleg one. Before this one came up, the first result on the page was one of these bootleg ones. But not only that, it was a bootleg one that had an image of the real packaging. And it was like advertising itself as the clapper. But when I looked at the listing, I noticed the same images that this listing had. So I just bought this one and let's open it up here and see just how bad this is. Now the design of it is based off of this version of the clapper, which I tried to buy one. I found a listing that had an image of the official clapper box with this one on it, because this is an older design, but they sent me this one, the real clapper, but it was this design. So I can't even, like, I unfortunately I couldn't get one to compare this to, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be just a really like cheap, oof. Oh, this just looks, wait a, what? They've got the, the real logo in here on like a piece of toilet paper. But yeah, this is like a photocopy of the real manual. The clapper, clap on, clap off. Yeah, they're totally trying. Now, I didn't see any of this in the listing, but if the one that tried to pass it off as a real one is using this exact same model of whatever this is here, then this makes sense. They're totally trying to uh, say this is the real thing, but this is obviously not the real manual. Congratulations, you're now the owner of the clapper. Models equipped with two new special features, sound sensitivity dial and clap detection lights for quick instructions on operating. Please refer to the yellow. Please refer to the yellow quick tips card that's not in the box. Yeah. So this is probably this from what it looks like. Actually, I have the official manual right here. Although this one is the newer style, obviously, but just for comparison. Congratulations, you are now the owner of the clapper. The clapper. Now this one, it just advertises some of the new features. It apparently has this sound sensitivity dial and clap detection lights, which the original uh, model did not have. How to operate an appliance with two claps. Got the same pattern there. So yeah, wow. I was not expecting this one, but yeah, they've got the a photocopy of the real manual in there. So I'm going to probably have to like report this listing, I guess. But oh my God, this is so bad. It looks like it's going to come apart. I can feel it's like it's almost separating. And there's like, look at this. There's like a scratch there. Oh, this is terrible. I'm almost afraid to plug. Oh, and the plug isn't even polarized. Yeah, look at that. Though the outlets here, these are polarized. 120 volts, uh, 250 watts max one outlet, 400 watts max both outlets. Okay. You can so clearly tell that this is a knockoff. But yeah, this is where the logo would go. Like this logo here would go right here. In fact, it's probably on the, the manual here. Yeah, you see that? The clapper, that's what's supposed to go here. But I mean, can you hear that? I mean, it's like you can hear it like rattling kind of. Yeah, this is terrible. That is a really cheap plastic. Yeah, this thing I think was like $7 and the genuine one is like $20. So there's obviously gonna be a, uh, a quality difference there. I'm almost afraid to do it, but you know we're gonna have to do it. Let's plug this thing into the wall and <laughs> gosh. Let's see what uh, what we get ourselves into. All right, so one of the things I wanna point out with this knockoff clapper before we plug it into the wall, cause I haven't done that yet, is the fact that when you try to plug something into the bottom, 
it makes a very loose connection. I mean, this is a really loose connection. I can pull this cord out by putting like very little pressure on it. I mean, just from having it like this, I mean, you can like shake on it and it comes out. That's terrible. So we're going to plug this lamp into here and it again makes a very uncomfortably loose connection, but we'll just uh, <laughs> leave it like that and let's plug it into the wall here. Okay, so it's plugged in. I've got the lamp here. I'm gonna flick it to the on position. Okay, so the lamp is not getting any power right now. So if we clap twice, you can see it is de detecting... Oh yeah, it just... So it just detected my voice. <laughs> yeah. So not only is it terrible uh, with your connection, right? It also doesn't know how to tell me talking from me clapping. So I can just like talk like the, And then stop and then it comes on and do it again like, hey guys. And then it goes off and come on hey guys and then it's on you can clap too though i think i what do i have the sensitivity set to there is no sensitivity switch yeah there's you have the home and, and away mode up here uh though i guess if we flick it all the way up to home i guess this is kind of the sensitivity switch because away will register basically anything so we'll have it set to the home mode that does uh nope same thing same thing comes on and off on and off it's back on again just from me talking yeah this thing is a piece of junk absolutely that's why it's sold. i mean this thing isn't even worth seven dollars are you kidding me this thing is pretty terrible and it's honestly probably a safety hazard considering how loose that the electrical connection is at the bottom i mean you saw i was able to shake this and the thing came out so I would not recommend buying any of these if they're all like this, which my guess is considering that all the images are the same on those Amazon listings. Yeah, stay stay far away from this. But just out of curiosity, let's open this thing up and see just how bad it is. So it's got one Phillips screw right here. Let's take this out. And is this the only screw holding the entire thing together? Um, there are... Okay, there's these, like, pull tabs on the bottom here. Is that what these are? I think these are lights, actually. I don't think those are screw holes. It's attached some way on the bottom here. I don't know if this is even a part... Like, this almost looks like it's a fixed piece of plastic that was probably just made this way to mimic the design. I mean, this was obviously molded after a, a shell of the real thing. Because it, it looks from a distance like the real thing, right? But it's obviously not. Let's see if we can just, uh... Alright, so here it is. Here are the inner workings of the knockoff clapper. Already the dial here has uh, has come off, but there we go. We can put it back in. But as we saw, it really didn't do anything, because setting it to a way would basically make it to where it would detect any noise, and it would make the lights turn on. And setting it to low would uh, make it to where, you know, you have to clap uh, pretty loudly or make a loud noise for it to register it, but it literally didn't make any difference at all. Honestly, I wonder if this even does anything, but yeah, there's your board. You've got your lights here, your indicator lights, and here is your really awesome, completely safe uh, electrical connection here that, again, doesn't take a whole lot of force for it to just pop out. But yeah, it is, I mean, at least with the manual, it is trying to pass this off as a genuine clapper. I think I can still return this thing. Hey guys, I got my, uh, I got my clapper here. Can you take it back? I mean, we can put the screw back in here and just, you know, just, just tap that in, you know, just get it, just get it tapped in there. Let's get our little dial and just put that one just right on in there. Oh, that's good as new, guys. We'll just take some of that. Just, uh, you know, just wrap this around here. Just want to make sure that's all, you know, nice and around there and just tear this off. And there we go, guys. You know, I don't think they're going to take this back, actually. I got to do just, just one more, one more little thing here. We'll just... There we go. Okay, so last but not least, I've got something really cool to show you guys. So I went on eBay and I came across, check it out, the original clapper. This is the original model right here 
from 1984. You can check out the copyright date there on the bottom. US and Canada patents pending. This is the original model that was advertised on TV, the largest one that covers the entire wall plate with the outlets on the front here, just on the bottom as opposed to like it is today. And yes, not only did I find this, but I found a sealed one. This is sealed. It's never been opened before. That's right. We're going to open this thing for the very first time since it was manufactured in 1984. Yeah, this is going to be really cool to see. It's been sealed for all this time. Let's open it up. My guess is there's going to be styrofoam inside. Yep, there is. Oof. All right, here we go. Okay, so what do we got? To order more clappers. Oh, is this like a mail-in card? Oh, man, yeah. That, I think that's exactly what this is. Here's the order form. Please mail me. It's the same price. It's been the same price all these years. $19.95 per unit. So here's your little purchase registration. Oh, I should totally send this in. Oh my gosh. I wonder if <laughs> I should totally send this in in like a video. The clicker. What is this? If for any reason you have difficulty making a clapping noise, the clicker is the answer. With very little effort, the clicker will make a noise loud enough to turn your clapper on or off from up to 25 feet. Interesting. I didn't even know this was a thing. So this is like an accessory for this that uh, would, yeah, it just makes a clicking noise that the clapper can register. So if you didn't want to clap and just wanted to like carry this thing around, there you go. I did not even know that they made that. But here it is right here. It's in the original order form. That's awesome. Here's the instruction manual. And yeah, it is, uh, it's one of these like fold out ones. And you've also got some of their other products here. So they have the the scribe it engraving pen the chia pet obviously i don't think this is around anymore maybe it is but it's not on their website and the clicker yeah it was sold as its own thing it's three bucks wow five dollars for two 250 each for or for each additional order this is not on their website anymore so they probably don't even manufacture this so that would be interesting to mail in this card and like see if they uh and just see what they do like what on earth are they going to do they probably don't have these anymore you got your sensitivity control knob which this knockoff manual was like bragging about and it's on the original one here maybe they were just talking about like an updated version of it maybe they improved it i don't know but it's here on the original one though the clap detection lights are not but there it is there's the manual and for the first time in 40 years almost 40 years let's remove the clapper from its styrofoam container and see if it still works so that's it man you can see there's like marks on it just from having this on top of it for all this time so you've got your uh your two outlets on the bottom here you've got your clapper icon symbol logo and then you've got this here a lightning bolt i guess to let you know that it's electrical outlets and here's the sensitivity dial here so you can so you got that red marker there so you can kind of see where you're at now just for comparison's sake here's the newest model and you can see just how far that they've come in being able to like size this down all the internals inside of it to this right here but yeah it's pretty cool we can obviously plug uh oh we can it oh look at that it's reversed interesting so the polarized outlets are flipped around instead of like this so that's interesting i've not seen a clapper with that before so this which we're not going to be able to plug this one into here because the feet on the bottom are going to touch this yeah there's only one thing left to do guys and you know what it is let's plug this into the wall and see if it still works after all this time all right so i've got the original clapper right here with a lamp plugged into the left outlet and we're going to plug it into the wall and the lamp comes on right away and you can see it does take up the entire wall plate it covers the entire thing which i think is pretty nice because it it looks like its own thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just something sticking out of a wall plate. It looks like some fancy wall plate. It's obviously not flush with the wall, but I think it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, the lamp already came on, so let's try to clap uh, two times. Now, this is the interesting thing. Uh, it looks like it's more instantaneous. You see that? Like, right as I started with the second clap, it immediately came on. We'll try it again. So if I were to clap once, you can see it, it doesn't turn on. But if I clap twice, yeah, it's like instantaneous. That's really cool. That's really cool because none of the other models do that. It's also not making a clicking noise or anything, but yeah, it's, it's like instantaneous. Like as I, like as I clap for the second time, like the moment my hands come together, it turns off. 
that is really cool. So I wonder why they changed that. Oh, there's a delay because it, it is waiting for a third clap. That's, that's probably exactly why. Though there is also a delay when you clap three times, even though it doesn't have to wait for anything after that. So that's interesting. But yeah, this model, even though there are two outlets, this is the only one that's activated by the clapper, the one on the left. The one on the right is just a standard wall outlet. It's like a pass-through, essentially. So I plug the lamp into there. It'll just stay on. I can clap all I want. Nothing's going to happen. So yeah, that is the original clapper. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, if you guys want me to send in this registration card and try to get one of these... Uh, clicker things be sure to let me know that might be interesting to do i mean i i highly doubt they're going to send me anything i don't think they i mean well they don't make these anymore so they're obviously not going to be able to send one out but i just wonder what would happen if i would send this in because the company uh it may still be at the same address i don't know we'll have to see but yeah there you go that's the original clapper in action it still works after almost 40 years well there you have it guys that is a quick unboxing well this video is not not very short this ended up being a pretty long video but yeah that's a look at all of these pretty cool special edition clappers and the original model right here which i think is just really cool to have yeah i really want to thank you all so much again for just watching that original video or actually it's not the original video because the first video that started this whole thing off was the retrospective and then i ended up just having this random idea one day of I wonder what happens if we plug one of these things into another one and like will it still work and well that video uh like i said it did really well and i want to thank you all so much for that but hopefully you enjoyed this one as well if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever i upload a new video which i do multiple times every single week on this channel and as always i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video